In this video, I'm going to show you how to work around the sending limits that restricts you to 30 messages per minute, and we'll be able to take advantage of the chunking technique from the last video. While you can't distribute mail faster than the limit, you can automate the process so that Python does the work for you. Then you can use your valuable time on other things. As always, check the video description for relevant links that I mentioned in the video. I'm going to be using the IDLE Interactive Python Shell, which comes packaged with Python. If you want to use the same, just type in IDLE in your command prompt, otherwise you can follow along with the code editor or IDE that you wish. So without further ado, let's get started. For this project, I'm going to be using a dummy CSV file containing 48 names and email addresses. You can download the CSV file I have posted in the video description and then find and replace the email address with a dummy address of your own. If you open the file in a text editor, you can press Ctrl plus H to do a find and replace routine. This will allow you to quickly find all instances of my dummy email address and replace it with the one that you want. The scenario for this project is that you've been asked to create a way to automate the distribution of notifications for people who haven't submitted their time. You have a list of names and email addresses, so let's see what we can do. First, let's import the CSV library. Next, we're going to use the sleep function from the time library, so type from time import sleep. This is what we'll use to create a timer. Finally, let's import the win32com library as normal. We need to create an email template for the message body, so let's type template equals and then put open and closing curly braces, comma, please submit your time as soon as possible. A quick side note here, I'm using a plain text template for this exercise, but you could just as easily use a more advanced and modern looking HTML formatted template as well. If you haven't seen it already, check out the link above on email templates. Now we need to get the CSV file that contains the distribution of people we're going to send the message to. So type in with open people.csv, comma, and then we're going to put this in read mode, comma, new line equals double quote as F. And then reader equals csv.reader and then pass in the file handler F. Distro equals row for row in reader with a list comprehension. Okay, what I'm doing is opening the file, creating a reader object, and then reading each line into a list that I've called distro. All right, next we're going to use the chunking method from the last video to split this distribution up into chunks of 30. The difference is that in the last video I used a for loop. I thought this time I'd demonstrate how to do the same thing in a single line using a list comprehension, but it should look familiar. Okay, now that the distribution is set, go ahead and start up an instance of Outlook. What we're going to do now is iterate through each chunk in the chunks list. Then for each chunk, we're going to iterate through each name and email address, creating an email and then sending it. Between each chunk, which is 30 messages, we're going to pause for 60 seconds to stay within the limit of 30 messages per minute message equals outlook.createitem and then as you know it's zero. Now type in message.2 equals email message.subject equals your time entry is past due. And then now we're going to use our email template to set the body. And then finally, message.send. All right, now we're going to move into the outer loop. And this is going to sleep for 60 seconds. OK, so what this is going to do now is when I run it, it's going to create and send out 30 emails. Then it's going to pause for 60 seconds. And then it's going to repeat until there are no more chunks left to send. Let's check Outlook to see what's happening. OK, you can see the items move from the outbox and then now they're being delivered into the inbox. If I check the messages, you can see that each one has been customized according to the distribution list that I used. 
This is the first bulk mail merge video. I have another video to share with you as well with a different method. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to navigate through Outlook's email folders. And this will be extremely handy for searching, sorting, organizing, and filtering mail, as well as sending mail that has been saved in the drafts folder. See you in the next video.